On behalf of the Jewish Federation of Western Connecticut, I would like to thank Senator Blumenthal for taking a lead role in this important effort on behalf of our at-risk Afghan allies. With the help of everyone here, we can find a way to help Nila Hanifi's family and other friends and allies still in Afghanistan who are in imminent danger as a result of their support for the United States. It goes without saying that America should honor its commitments to those who provide support to us at great risk to themselves. We should always do the right thing. For the Jewish community, support for refugees generally is a bedrock principle and deeply personal. We have been refugees in the United States and in many, many other countries. We know how important it is to have a safe haven. However, the commitment goes much deeper than that for the Jewish community. In fact, it goes back to the very first Jewish person, Abraham. Abraham, as we know, is the father of the three Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. With all of Abraham's amazing attributes, Jewish tradition tells us that Abraham's biggest virtue is the way he took great pains to welcome strangers and make them feel at home. How well we treat strangers <clears throat> and people who need our help is a measure of our humanity. As a result of the lesson of Abraham, the Jewish community, in coalition with friends from other faith and advocacy groups, will always welcome refugees. In this instance, we will also work diligently to rescue people who at great personal sacrifice helped our country so that we may soon be able to welcome them to our shores as well. Thank you all for including the Jewish Federation in this important humanitarian endeavor. And now it really is a, a treat and an offer and an honor to be able to introduce Nila Hanifi, who will tell us a little about, about herself and her family and why the initiative of Senator Blumenthal is so important for so many people. Thank you.